Welcome to Party Poker Premier League Poker 6. Over the past five seasons, we've seen some of the greatest players attempt this challenge. The winners have included Yuha Helpy, Andy Black, JC Tran, David Benjamin, and of course, Scott Seaver. Now 16 players are in London to face one of the toughest challenges in the game. Last time, Group A took to the felt for their third league match. This is what happened. The pressure was on in Group A. At the start of this heat, Jonathan Duhamel, Jungleman, and Daniel Negreanu held the top three spots in the league. The players in the playoff zone were Sam Trickett and Marvin Rettenmeyer, and it was Phil Helmuth, Antonio Esfandiari, and last season's winner, Scott Seaver, who found themselves in the elimination zone. When the heat got underway, tempers rose. Jungleman acted out of turn one too many times. It's impossible for you to be as dumb as you're acting. You're an idiot. He was then eliminated in eighth place. Helmuth was low stacked and doubled up to see him climb back up the leaderboard. He got the big trap in. <laughs> what an exciting heat this is turning out to be. Antonio Esfandiari and Jonathan Duhamel sit comfortably at the top of the board. Helmuth now has an average stack, but Negrano is on life support with just 36,000. Now the cards are back in the air, and Negreanu is still in a critical position on the leaderboard. I mean, how good does Phil Helmuth feel right now? Holy Toledo. He's, he's so happy right now, he can't even think of anything to say. He can't even think of any way to needle Daniel Negreanu. Right, in the handsome. nick of time, You, you wish he had some of those chips for this monster hand. Yeah. Oh, he knows he's gonna get called. Three folds. Just three folds together. Yeah, let's do a group squeeze. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. I only looked so at he, one, he but it's the right one. He didn't look at his cards. He just called. Got the ace and oh, ace queen of hearts. Wow. wow. Yeah. Against queen what? Outrageous. Queen six off. Wow, there's eighty-eight thousand in there. Seven eight off suit. Ooh, just to take him off. Actually, it might be right in the Premier League. <laughs> 26, yeah, 28 more. I should have why, why, would I, why would I expect anyone to play these? I'm almost thinking I could have put 10% of my hand in. You can go turn river fast. It's not we, oh my god, everyone's one. staying alive. This is just so incredible. It is. Oh, no, no. no, no. The nuts. Wow. That's wow. how I get my money in, gentlemen, with the nuts. Wow. <laughs> so write it down, ace, queen, queen, six. Yeah, you never I got it. <laughs> you never had to look at the other card. Okay. This is ace, so ace. Yeah. fun, watching these three. And now it's really Daniel Negrano and Marvin Rettenmeyer that are like on super life support. Phil Helmuth has pulled himself out of it, and he's hanging out with Scott in the mid-level like clouds, feeling good. Not with a lot of chips, but feeling good. Making notes is, is Daniel Negrano. Daniel going to write a book or an article? The more points you have, the more chips you start with, right? Yep. 10K yeah. for point. 10K, 10K a point. That has to do with how many chips you get on the final table. That's the conversion mm. rate. Uh, either that or it's a very big prop okay. bet. <laughs> yeah. But I actually think it is uh, the conversion of the points. All right now, Jonathan Duhamel with 27, minimum of 270,000 in chips for the final, and likely to be many more. I don't like this play. Well, the dy dynamics are much more gambly right now. Phil. They got all these short stacks that are looking for any way to put it in, and you got a guy that's decided to never, ever, ever in his life let you open. Okay, ever. So you have to tighten up and then repop, repop them when you have kind of eights and ace king, or ace queen, or even ace jack. He's got a couple of people off hands. It's just that uh, because the bubble is from yeah. zero to two points, eight to seven, oh my but then God, it's two and got three a must all in. Oh, I mean, this is the same thing as the ace, king, mm -hmm. and spades for before. Is this any different? I want to go all in. I think it's a lot different. It's a lot different. Okay, good, because it just looks like a ship to me. It <laughs> looks like, like it. Yeah, it's got ace, king of hearts. Oh, he has 377. Yeah, it there's 120 looks, in the pot. It still looks like a ship. Yeah, I think I think he's going to I think I would he's going in. I would just ship it. Would I? You got to make it 120. I might torture raise like 170. Well, you, <laughs> you know, put in the 50 out 170 and leave a little bit. Like go and make an announcement. If I miss, I'm gonna blow. It's a super juicy hand. He's Look at how it all plays. I, I just like to say something. What if Antonio just folded like a traditional fold the queen four? <laughs> and Jonathan said, you know what? I'm not gonna bother this time. Jack three. Well, Marvin with ace nine could have done something. Helmuth with ace eight of clubs could have done something. <laughs> you know, it would be a whole different energy. But now, 
Patrick is obviously going to get this money, and he's just deciding if he can raise to induce, I guess, Put or it in shove. all at once or do it on the installment plan? That's what he's wondering. I, I think the he's installment probably going to be better off. It, yeah? Too big a hand. Anyway, it's just, you got to go all just, in. Just shove Hope it. Hope your opponent has, you know, he's queen and makes a mistake and puts it in. Correct. He's gone for the all-in. Antonio realized he just leaked off 27,000 or whatever he did. And Jonathan is 0% to call. <laughs> so, this is what happens when you can't wake up with a hand when people are having a, uh, a little testosterone match. You just get an extra windfall. <laughs> And uh, Duha Mel may not realize that the dynamics have changed. And I think there are dynamics at the table that have changed here, Phil, because uh, the difference between eighth and seventh is from zero to two points, but seventh to six is only two to three, and sixth to fifth is only three to four. So. Right. The, and, and then the it big starts. Big jump happens, small jumps happen, then, and then big jumps happen again. Weaken in third place every time. There was no luck. Fourth something. I would finish the top three or four every time. I would never win, ever. <laughs> <laughs> there was no luck, I would get first literal zero times. <laughs> One Premier League a thousand times, so I would never, Sweet ever end my hand on top. <laughs> you get third, 88%. <laughs> well, you she get three folds. You have me competing for third and fourth. <laughs> she four folds. She five ready. folds. Oh, yeah. Trickett's really been a constant, hasn't he? He's just like, okay, now I find... This is the first time Trickett's had the button in in the in, in those um, incendiary uh, Duhamel small big blind. Isn't it? I think it's... I don't remember this one. Duhamel is like jungle. He calls, defends. It's a good defend hand. It's a real hand. Five of clubs, two of diamonds. Yeah, Trickett is just kind of... Sam might take a free card. I doubt it. He's just playing bet. poker right now, isn't he? I think I'll bet that, too. You just, you don't... Six bets, 25,000. Two barrels can get your opponent off a pair of eights here. So you might just go for two barrels, too. And you have all those chances to catch an ace or a six. I'll tell you one thing about Sam Trickett tonight. Uh, he is zoned in. I mean, yeah. all those other nights when he was hung yeah. over asleep. Wow, what a, what a like card. That's just like a, a card. Duhamel was just calling out a position to float, torture something, develop, but now he actually has a hand with EV. But he really can't. He can only check, check raise, right? He couldn't say. a heck of a float. That was a jungle He might take float. a free card here and it could hurt him. Ace or six of diamonds is going to be a bazinga. Yeah. He took the free card. <laughs> now the all made a pair, and he thinks it's good. He probably knows it's good. He might value bet. No, maybe not. Maybe you just no. You have to value bet it. I think so. There's not a I ton of hands that. There's not many kings uh, out there. He's checking. He wants wow. to win the pot. He's saying, if you bet, I'm gonna call. I'm checking. <clears throat> the way the action went, I I might. It's hard to bet. I mean, he's gonna do it. Let's Six call. Bets twenty-five thousand. Call. Cool. Can you beat that? <laughs> Four high. Because <laughs> 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 he sees it. He sees it. He turned the no, diamond. No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I thought you pocketed the twenty-five. I was like, that's a nice move. It's like <laughs> the only way I could lose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Sam had a draw. Well, I was going to check. <laughs> yeah, his draw is too strong. <laughs> I had to check now. Obviously, he was planning yeah, to bluff to later draw. on the hand. That, uh, maybe those calls I made against you weren't so bad. Called the bluff trick it later in the hand. Wow. That's pretty advanced. That's very advanced. You've been reading me. I haven't seen many of those. Uh, in <laughs> no, you're not folding with Daniel, but Sam. Send a message. Make it 50. 38. All these squeezers are hoping you make 70. 38,000. <laughs> 38, huh? Trick it with 10-7 parts. Wow, he's calling. He's gone for the call. He well, this is going to make... Uh, well, first of all, I don't know if I like the call, but I suppose it's not so bad. 
That makes wow. the King Jack, uh, it's more imperative to call now because of that action. Well, this is, it will be in trouble if the flesh comes, you know, which is highly unlikely to. You can I actually use the button. He would have called that either way, right? If a 10-7, mm -hmm. if it's a 10-7 folds, I would still call it the King Jack Hearts. Yeah, this it's Helmuth. Yeah, he really button. want. It, there's like the Vig and being able to beat Helmuth because everyone like fold. high fives you and whatever and stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is what Helmuth's up against. Wow, Negrano is for sure confused. <gasps> but you've but got to go all he's in. He's short forward. stacked. He probably has to go. I wonder. I wonder if he has wow. to go all in. Call. I'm going I with fold. I no would call. call. I think it's a fold. I would call. If you hit a set, you're getting four to one. Okay, I'm gonna raise. Well, There's he no decided raise. to go for it, and he raised. Yeah. He's all go in. He does Where? have the best sand. Complete. Yeah, they need to know the total. And he's 44% because of all the oh, overcoming. Yeah. There's not a helmet that's called. Unfilled. Everyone calls. Six yes. Six calls. Well, he could quadruple up. No one can raise. They all have to match the pot. Oh, did I get myself into it? Oh my god, how unlucky are you, Daniel? Well, this all feels. I, mean, I, I just knew I couldn't depend on him, though. I was 100% sure. Like, but it doesn't matter. But I it could have been anyone. It could have been anyone. Yeah, no, it's really him. What Daniel's saying is he was positive oh, that, that Helmuth was going to isolate oh, and go all in behind. That's, that's, I think that's yeah, the yeah, avenue yeah. he was Maybe thinking. Maybe Esfandiari was supposed to. And really, it would have been a smart play by Helmuth, maybe. There's a 10 something. Wow, that's a nice swap for wow. him. He's he got doesn't the straight think so. draw. Not against, not against that range of three guys. Yeah. I mean, wow. the Queen King could easily be out there. He's also the only one with a spade. Wow, look at this. If a uh, runner, runner flesh comes. King 10, he thinks and that, he thinks there's a ton. He might, but look, he's so trapped. Yeah. Obviously, if more than one. I'll keep yeah. the 184 and I wouldn't go a after it. A queen won't give him a straight, <laughs> but a seven will. A seven I don't think it's right for Helmuth. Helmuth has to give up in this hand. I don't get it. I check. <laughs> cool check. This is just an expose of beauty. <laughs> Remember, uh, if more than yeah. one player get knocked out in the same hand, the points get awarded depending on who started. Yes, with whatever Phil, hand Phil with the remembers most chips. that. Don't bring back bad memories. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I say I don't bet into a dry side pot, but mm -hmm. I think you can win. Uh, this in is this a no-brainer bet into a dry wow. side. Look at <laughs> it. You can't protect him in this format. I thought I flopped the nuts. Oh, Jesus. Helmuth is just saying, like, hey, come on, it's everyone's advantage if right. Negranu goes out. So he's kind of saying, well, what are you doing, oh, Esfian Oh, my God. Antonio's in it to win it. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh not my a good God. hand to have. I wanted him to have, because <laughs> no. oh, the queen's no bad. good. Queen's yeah. Oh, right. well, Phil, why'd you do this to me, Phil? I, I should have moved know. in. I had the king well, ten of diamonds. Why wouldn't you? I had a ten in the goat show. Oh, my God, I thought that was a seven or eight. Three across again. Oh, yeah, it's good too. It yeah. Is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is. Oh my God! <laughs> and it's a diamond. All you asked for was a three. I know. You I should do more something. You got another three. Across. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I would have busted you. No, I know, but at least you would have made me feel you. better. <laughs> yeah. Everybody busted you. Everyone busts you. Yeah, it was probably not. Like, we all wanted to bust you. Right. In this format, I don't. I don't feel like raising is. You don't think that raising was the right play? No. Okay. You know what? That's why they play the game, right? That's right. Good luck, everybody. Now for Daniel Negrano, it'll be two okay. points. He's got 16 right now, which keeps him in third place. Talk to me about your position in the league table and what this means. Well, obviously, seventh is a disappointing finish. Uh, it means that going into the final, I might actually have to put up a result. I was hoping to get, you know, like a fifth or better, pick up some more points, but it just wasn't there for me today. You know, I just didn't really have a lot of good situations. I tried one bluff that didn't work against Antonio and also made one call of 54,000 I wish I could take back. Other than that, I'm happy with how I played. You can see the highlighted names of the players still in. Uh, great news for Jungle Man to see Negranu go out right behind him. He stays ahead of him. But the leapfrogs could easily happen. Uh, Trickett almost guaranteed to, to enter the lexicon of the top three. There's no way to say I love you in Farsi. Really? really? Yeah, there's a way to say I'm in love with you. And there's many expressions to express one's love for another, like many more than the, Ameri the, the English language. But there's no direct way to say I love you. But it's also incredibly very deep, passionate. 
language. Now, Duhamel has Just finally picked up, up a hand he's been raising with trash. Yeah. If anyone wakes up with something really sexy, they could get action. Well, I think this is a must call anyways. This is, this is exactly what you want, closing the action. You don't like the being out of position, but... Antonio's got a lot of chips. Antonio's yeah. so far ahead of everybody else, he can afford to fiddle around a little bit with <laughs> substandard hands. And he hit. They both hit. Well, this yeah. is going to be terrible bad for somebody. Wow. Uh, and yeah. you can feel Duhamel is just like... <laughs> even though it's only 55, it looks like 85%. But Antonio... Esfandiari doesn't have a ton of reasons to to pop control. He's never got. But, but oh, Duhamel never has here. no reasons to pop control. Right. He can just go, you know. Yeah. Duhamel's got the floor, is ready to go through all the gears yeah. right now. Duhamel's looking to get it in. I mean, he's Esfandiari got this straight draw. He can't raise, I don't think. He's two handcuffed overs, by having too much draw. value. You know, the handcuff with too much value, don't, if that was a two of diamonds, it would have been a different thing. Okay, 132. Antonio doesn't know he's winning. He's thinking, Queen King. What could he have? Duhamel. Well, what do is what does that have? Check it is. This is a big card. I wonder. Whoa! <laughs> You're right about that. Worst whoa. card in the deck for it's Disaster. the bottom end of the straight. Because King Jack would have already been winning, so the Jack has in his mind caught him up. But it's the worst. Wow. What if he check calls? I like it. Just lose the minimum. Wow, with a monster. <laughs> I love the check call here. And this, both these guys think they have the best yeah, hand. Yeah. 77,000. Pretty sure you're just going to see a call. Or a fault, could he? No. Oh. You can't. Yeah, I have to call. Oh, yeah, he said call. You need yeah. to sound happy about it. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> um, could be a straight flop shot there. But that just. 77? <laughs> <Hey. laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've some live games Antonio could have doubled them up. <laughs> <call. laughs> <laughs> 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 Alright, so now Sounds like how you know a little more <laughs> Junk. And junk. How is Helmet still sitting in that seat? It's crazy. <laughs> With 150. He's like a corn cob pipe. Scott likes can just hand. keep on puffing. <laughs> you know, Scott's decently aggressive. In fact, he's putting chips voluntarily into pot 30% of the time. I I think he's going to hold on with that kind of ace six if it comes more aggression at him. Ace, ace queen, I said, in my head. Six raises to sixty thousand. Like this, I think I think Seaver's prepared to hold on with Ace Queen. Doesn't it feel Seven like it? Bolts, eight I was thinking this could happen. He's gone three. all in, gone the three bet, four bet route. Yeah, he's got yeah, a swing just, free. He knows Antonio's so got chips. Range. Yep. Uh, don't hurt, don't, don't, hurt don't hurt my buddy Scotty. Don't hurt my buddy Scotty. They're sweating it together. <laughs> Sam's only <laughs> looked at one. Come on, come on. It's an ace. Slowly, slowly. No toss. Oh, that's that's like a that's round. It's a queen. That's a queen. No, it's not. It's an eight. It's an eight. Get out of here. It's an eight. Get out of here. It's a Don't six. be a queen. It's a six. Oh, it's a six. oh my god, it's suited. I have 300. <laughs> that's very funny. That's very funny. That's so sick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was one of the most brilliant sweats we've seen. Oh, it's they all did it together. And if you've never done it, you can, you know it. Can so right push it down <laughs> slow, slow, And it can be one of three cards. Uh -huh. Why does it have to be suited? It looks so nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much should Trickett raise it? Trickett needs to have a think suited. about all the dynamics here. You always think they or maybe not. Suited, don't you, when you have a six suit? If I could show you my hand right now, I wouldn't. Huh. Six folds. Any folds. 
big smile from Scott Seaver. Why? Wow, picking he's up actually up got life. He's yeah, got hope. Sweat my heart like, oh, wow. And he's drinking yeah, a can of leaves. <laughs> what could be better? <laughs> it's hot water and mint leaves and nothing else. No it, sugar, it, no it, it, it looks like a glass of grass. A glass of grass, it does look. Wow, look at how he pumps up to 409. Probably should wow. look, try looking at both cards. <laughs> now, Sam Trickett, really an Antonio and Duhamel had all the chips, and now it's Seaver as the Duhamel. It's the, the, the D-Gen in me. The one thing I didn't want you to pick up on is looking at both cards. <laughs> good job, team. Good job. Good job, good job. Antonio, good job. That was exactly what I wanted Exactly to what we wanted. Good job. Exactly what I wanted. I feel so hated right now. Six five bolts. Six no, no. Bolts. Every single person here is rooting for me to get second or third to them. Six, seven, I disagree. Eight, I, I don't think is. <laughs> me and Marvin on. No, Marvin is. Marvin is. Yeah, yeah. Mar Marvin wants me to get second to Marvin. Yeah, yeah to Marvin. That's like I said. Yeah. Everyone wants me to get second <clears> to <throat> them. Oh, right, cool. Yeah. No, it helps, Scott. <laughs> Trust no, me. it doesn't. I didn't say it helps, but it's nice. It doesn't you know? always help. It's nice. Six, three, <laughs> It doesn't always help. <laughs> Six of hearts, three of spades. Oh, we got action here. Uh, do almost first to act. That's going to be good for us, Fendiari. Uh, but what's uh, bad Seven bets, is that do almost just has ace high in it. That's when he could. I mean, how do you attack this? You check raise or you call for value? I guess you. I would give up, but. This, I don't win million dollar tournaments every week like Jonathan does. So this is just a call, I guess. If you call pre-flop, you have a decent ace, you call. Oh, wow, he picks up a king, queen. A king or a queen was, is a good pickup. I mean, I guess, <laughs> right? Because now you have a way to win. Although you were always winning. That's interesting. Antonio might not and He's care. a tough player. And he's got 27 points. He can really... Do what he wants. Anytime Duhamel puts chips in the pot, calling or betting, he's a little scary. Oh, this is just insanely good poker. Duhamel. How does Duhamel know he that his ace is good? Aware of um, Antonio's body language or something. Well, his the, how he likes to play hands from the button. He's figuring he's above um, yep. Antonio's range. He knows that now he'll have to shut down. He, I bet you Antonio will shut down here. I don't think he can do it. It just looks like Duhamel's holding on with a jack. He doesn't care about the king, or maybe he has a queen king. Boy, I that's don't know. A big you know pot. what I'm saying? Doesn't mm -hmm. it look like now I have a queen king? I mean, that's what I would. I don't know. Oh wow, there it is. <gasps> wow. Okay, now this I just think cannot be called. Now, if Jonathan calls this, I don't want to play any more poker if he's yeah. at my table because this is I'm just done playing him. I'm all in. <gasps> What? Wow! That's, oh my that is God! The hand of the heat. That's just one of the greatest plays ever. That's that amazing. is just one of the greatest plays oh, ever. Wow! Oh my God! It's like watching two Zen masters go at it. That and was And look at Trick. He knows what happened. Go on. <laughs> That's a. That, that is amazing. Trick it new. Did you see Trick it? That's wow. amazing. He is onto it. He was wow. so onto oh it. Soul, well, that is poker. That is a historical hand, I think. Probably be Antonio is going to be lucky. sick when Jonathan's he sees what Jonathan has. <clears throat> Little smile there. You know, it's always the quiet ones. We saw it a couple days ago. Somebody did that where they were kept and, checking. Uh, sooner or later. Wow. Yeah. That was amazing. Don't mess with the man. Raise it up. Wow. I'm Jonathan Duhamel. I'm the 2010 World Series of Poker Champion. Who was it? And was have a bit of this. Somebody. 74. I, I don't remember who it was, but they. it was it him? Was it Duhamel? They checked, called the bet with nothing. Then the turn, checked, called the bet with nothing. Then the river. And Trickett made a 9-3 and a 1 with 9-2. Who was his opponent when Trickett had the 9-3? Good luck, boys. Well, we're going to have a split King's pot. Ace king. Soft. Yeah, clear soft. The moment <laughs> you stop the spread. AK, AK. So many clubs in this deck, though. Clubs are just running real hard. And I, if you didn't know it before, this is proof that hearts and clubs are stronger clubs than spades just... and diamonds. Yeah. Trick it as a free roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hiya. Trick uh -oh. it, free roll is... That would be such an evil way to go out. 
You should oh. get the flush because you have three clubs in a heart. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want to do some business? Do you want to do some business? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Wow. Close. Ooch. Redo. Yeah, there would be no steam. I mean, here, here. There's no sense steaming. I got it with Ace King. I'm Thank happy, you. you know? I, I, I actually believe Helmuth there. I think oh, Helmuth right now is feeling he's actually had a good day at the office. This is the Premier League. I just want to evaluate my hand regardless of how the flips come out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he might call you. No. That is the battle right now. Uh, I mean, as like Fandieri and Seaver still wild cards, oh, but for Trickett, Rettenmeyer, and Helmet, at least one there. of them is going to oh, yeah. fall off the loop <laughs> and fall out of the pack of the yeah. relegation zone. Even if I have ace queen, I don't really want to call there. No, I just want to win it. Yeah, <laughs> and I want to gamble ace queen against king ten a little bit later. Oh wait. <laughs> I want to make it 86, actually. <laughs> it's a little late. Let's <laughs> <Okay. laughs> make 87. I was like, that's the weirdest 08. All in for funny. Marvin. I'm the only guy that does that. It's so much fun to do, you know? Like 83,000, 86,000. Oh, and Marvin does not like this, and so he shouldn't. Okay. Oh, Jack. Great spot for Sam Trickett and for Rettenmeyer. Three points would only leave him with 14. I'll say good luck, but I don't mean it like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, really. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I feel like you want to say something. Like, I don't mean good luck. I'm like kind of rooting for myself. I, I always wait for the other person to say good luck, and then I just say thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, a lot of How do they shot? How is oh it always a shot? About as bad as it goes. A lot of I, the... I guess you would. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> too many. In fact, it's too many. Exactly. Too, too, too many out. Too many out. Wait there, wait there, wait there. Let me, let me see this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I I can't do it. You 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 invented this move, Phil. I think Phil. Well, I did it. You invented it. Yeah, I did it a long time ago. Everyone wants to do it. No, you just made it. Oh, my God. Oh. Good game, buddy. Good game. They went the other way. Right, what a curveball. He went the other way. We what went all the way around there. He just curveballed. Yeah. Yeah. Brett and Meyer, I think he did some good work today, but uh, at the end of the day, there's a, a situation where he is almost guaranteed to end up in the relegation zone going into the fourth heat. We are now down to five players here in London. Premier League poker action continues after the break. That was my plan to do what you're doing, just yeah. have some fun, mate. Yeah. But it's pretty fun. Come on, we're all having fun yeah. stuff. Well, not me, but everyone else is having fun. We're talking about Duhamel. He has. He's been walking on air, Duhamel. He just came in here, played his game, had some fun, and he is crushing. I gotta love Duhamel's table presence. He can smile when he wants, and when he gets serious, it's angry. If 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 it, yeah. if it looks like Antonio is going a bit <laughs> no, mental here, so yeah. I, I think yeah. actually, you know, this is just insane. It. Yeah, you gotta well. tighten up Antonio because he doesn't want to stop. Not folding. I'll tell you that much. I was not folding. Now I have to fold. I really wanted to play this hand, especially against Antonio. He's raised my button every time, and now my, the handcuffs are off. The handcuffs are off. Now I can gamble with you guys. Yeah, they really are. Actually. They're completely off. I'm sitting on my little whatever. Yeah. The point situation might dictate that S. Fandiari should uh, open things up, but the man on his left does not, because the man on his left has stepped on his foot, kicked him in the ear, and pulled his nose. He knows Antonio's stack is healthy, and he doesn't want to jeopardize it with anything. But I mean, the nicest of hands, so all steals get get through, unless Antonio wants to go to the leveling war where he just knows, but he doesn't, you know? I think he might just peel off the flop. He's oh my in. God, I'm getting everything wrong because these two people are too much better than me. Oh my God. That's oh good. my God. That was good stuff. Yeah. That was good what stuff. What was going on? I was playing with Antonio. I thought it was strong. I was still calling it. Duhamel still in moving. charge at 27 points. The handcuffs are off, boys. And come, Antonio come S. Van Diari with still, only three. Yeah, he knows he needs line. a top two finish. He's still going for it. You know? That's why it's time to bring out the hammer. He's going to call. He's going to call. There's Sam Trickett's girlfriend on the rail watching on. They say it's more stressful 
to watch someone play poker than it is to play yourself. We're no longer on oh my lord. Now Anton is hoping Jonathan is never going to stop. No, Look at Jonathan not. dodging the... Let's see if anyone wakes up with something. But wow. Espinadero would have loved it if Jonathan got crazy there. Loved oh it. Oh my god. If Duhamel just folds. If Duhamel just folds. I'm, I'm going to limp. You got us. Son. And you're going to move limp it. I'm going to snap. I call boom. It's, it was going to be one of these. Yeah, they all fold. <laughs> exactly. Find the cards from underneath the chips. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, that's just, just like to that. call. You have too many chips. You gotta call. It's fine. You're saved, though, man. Wow. I no one likes it. this flop. What's gonna happen? I can't smooth can't. call. I want him. I want him to call me. I want him to have ace ten. And... Check pot control value. Check. Check right. Check. Oh. Check. oh wow! It picks up the flush draw. Trickett really only. I don't has think Antonio's folding the Trickett bets, and I think Trickett knows it. And I think Trickett's going to check and try and get a free card. And you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's so sick. Why don't they just call? Does Antonio want to bet for value? It's kind of like he could. It's reasonable. I don't care. I mean, I You know, get tens to call and gutter balls to pay. And I just love the interplay between these two. They clearly are... are thinking on different levels um, not of the game but just with each other their their game is very intricate together it's it's could it's, uh, intricate uh, do a check raise all it could did <laughs> is he thinking about it i think they just seem to i mean they just seem to understand each other it would drive quite well crazy I think he might. I don't know He's why. Because so, I love this guy. You know, Trickin, for some reason, he would have expected S. Fandiari, or he expected S. Fandiari to bet the ace. Now, pairing. a lot of people wouldn't, but for some reason, he expected <laughs> that S. Fandiari would, and that's why he's taking this oh line. Oh, my God. I, I, right? And now Antonio just wishes he had checked for value. It's, like, so weird. Well, S. Fandiari might not be done. S. Fandiari might have expected that uh, if Trickett had an ace. No. That, <laughs> I mean. Nope. I'll give you three to one that Antonio folds if you want for 20 pounds. You know him too well. Yep. This you is just where the jig well. is up. And also the board is gross and it could have hit and it could have caught up and he could have had two pair. And he, Tr Trickett could be thinking Antonio's easily got an ace queen. You know what? Blah, blah, blah. Could you have picked me off for 60 pounds? Is he cutting chips? Is this the sickest leveling so they can't? Oh, my God. You could have had 60 bucks. You could have had 60 You know, bucks. every single proposition you've offered I me. I would have lost. You would have lost. Be, you're, you're you are so lost. out of the zone, <laughs> I Phil. I've been up for two and a half days with no Does sleep. Trickett need a spade? Oh. Or can he win with the bingo? Okay. Now it's a battle of heart. It's a battle of heart. I, and will you know, Trickett settle down? Well, the interesting. If he decides to bluff, can Antonio call? Oh, I don't even know. 326 is out there. Trickett has 306. If he goes all in, it's pretty damn hard to call, and it will be a world class call if he did. Is he betting 140 to make it look like a value? What is he doing? Is he going to check and be sick when he sees that he might have got it through? He called the check raise. You know, Trickett keeps thinking he called the check raise. My God. I love watching this. I can't take it. I can't take it. I don't see any way Antonio can call, but can he? He can't, can he? It, he can't. Can he? Well, I think <laughs> He's trying to find a way to call. He, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> Why did you bet the turn, Antonio? Keep the pot small with a hand like that. Shoot. I think we all know what's going to happen now, Phil. Antonio's going to wait a little bit, and he's going to try and get Sam to start talking. Right, to get the answer. Let's see if it happens as you script it, because that is the pattern. It's what he's done twice already. This is a much oh, tricky, tricky. You just check the monster twice on the turn. Can he get this read, though? And how polarizing is this bet? It doesn't feel polarizing as much as, I mean, the only bluffs are the missed draws, and all the other hands are hands. And who check raises their draw? Uh, he's such a watcher, Antonio. He's not thinking right now. He's, he's watching. Feeling. He's trying to get to the field. <laughs> and if he is thinking, the only thing he's thinking about is to get a Sam Trickett to open his mouth. Yep. 
He's gonna try. What can I say to trick it that's gonna make him talk? <sighs> Let's see. Let's watch. <laughs> Look at him. He's trying to create a natural moment where he'll probably draw him in. It's all about. Oh, can I get a count? <laughs> He's not giving up on the hand. Of course not. Of course not. This is the most important moment in Antonio uh, Esfandiari's Premier League. Yep. He's got to win the thing, too. This is the most important decision that he is going to make now, in this Premier like, League. Now, if I'm wrong, yeah. how much more do I have? 3.05. Yep. And think of the stakes here. I call the big If Esfandiari goes out next, if he calls and loses, it's just he'll take four. Wow. Look at how much little he has left. He'll take four if, points. If he calls, he has like... He'll only uh, have a total of seven. Three or four big blinds or whatever and it is. He may have to actually win or come second just to make the playoffs in the last heat. If he calls and wins, wow. he's going to be chip leader and be pole position yep. to get himself in the playoff zone with a chance at promotion. What's the up, players man? realize that this is the most important decision Antonio will make. They're going to give him all the time he needs. They're going to give them all the time in the world. I would love to know what that little thread conversation was just a second ago. It almost opened up. Asked Phil Helmuth, who is the best reader in the game besides you? He mentioned Antonio's name. Hey no rush. No! Oh. Look at that, he even gets us in the booth. And, and Trickett <laughs> knows exactly what's going on. Yep. Like, he knows that Antonio is going to try every move in the book to make him crack. And he just survived! And he doesn't he show just it. got it through! Wow. He got the bluff through Antonio Esfandiari! Look at the difference here. Esfandiari still in third place, but now has 400K after that loss. But Trickett has increased his stack to 632,000 and is closing in on Duhamel. So what did Phil say about Burning Man? Did he say as good as I say? Yeah, yeah. And then I got, I was like, Antonio told me you're thinking about not going. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's like a, he I can wait a few it. years. And then yep. I was hyping it up for him. And he's like, yeah, I guess it is that good. And you know. He talked about it so much uh, that I called my wife and chatted with her about it a little bit. You she should goes, go. How come you don't go? Year. Not this year. Well, why not? Honestly, One I, of these years your wife goes, but you won't go? I, I know, it's crazy. Ready. I honestly don't. I don't think so. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't mean it's a bad thing. I just don't think you would enjoy it, yeah. Yeah. It's a very strong and thing My wife's never me pushed me. Yeah. I think Phil would enjoy it. I don't know. He, 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 he could get into it. a very specific group of people. He could get into it. I mean, you just walk around for like five hours hoping. I think would... he, I think he would love it for two days, but not for like a week, unless they have like a real specific support group. I don't know. Though. I just think. Three days to seventy-six. Okay, this is great. What's going on here? Race, re-race. Well, Duhamel's taking an opinion on on on, on Trickett's motivation yeah. right now. I I think he's right. I I actually think Trickett may have to fold this. Yep. But what do I know? And Duhamel, he's done so many things effortlessly in this Premier League. You you, you just forget uh, how many plays he's making all the time. This will be his uh, third time out of three heats in the top three, should he get there, and perhaps even the top two. He's had a first, he's had a second. I don't know what I have, but I'm in the four across business. Finn is awesome in this group as Dan Shack and Tobias Rankemeyer have been in Group B. Well, Seaver's playing this, and he's got a stack of 375. He's going to raise 30-something. And Trinket has given him uh, a little bit of a free reign lately. Yeah, nothing. Holy cow. This is a little bit different. This is a whole different. Antonio has his first time aces. And forever. <laughs> Every time he's had the lead in a big hand, I think something's gone wrong. Let's see what happens here. He is getting action, I think, with the re-raise, right? 
Well, th th these guys do have reasons to play against each other, I, I think. How much did he raise? 32 became 82, and Scott Seaver can make it quite a bit more. He's got about 350 back. Um, yeah. And there's nothing to say he won't do it here. He doesn't want to be up against ace, king, or ace, queen. Wow, he's just calling. Okay. It's a hand that has so much value, he just doesn't see the sense in jamming. Wants to see the flop. It's going to be lights out if Seaver hits a king or a queen. My god, it would be terrible bad. I think it might be lights out anyway. <sighs> Does Antonio C bet this? It's maybe too strong. He knows for sure, for sure, Seaver doesn't have an ace, you know? So. As fishy as it looks to check, do you check him? Anyway? I'm a cash game player, so I bet that, but that's because I have the disease. <laughs> You're 100% C-better when you three-bet the, the big blind anyway, aren't you? I just, yeah, if I connect, I'm always betting, even if it's quads. I, it's Sometimes I should check. This looks like a check. This looks like a mistake to bet, but it's what I would do. It's it's possible because, that you know, Antonio it, could bet and Seaver has to flo check Checking anyway. looks like I'll have an ace-jack or ace-queen. I want to protect it or a pair of tens. I want to protect it. You know, when you bet, it can be anything. It's kind of like that disguise your hand by betting. So when you... Oh, that was really bad for Seaver. Antonio can get some value. Maybe a little bit. Here and a little bit on the river. This is going to be really tough for Seaver to figure out. I mean, this is just a hero fold if you fold. Because... Uh, Antonio doesn't have a ton of reasons to check two aces, does he? But No, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, it's maybe not such a hero fold because it's uh, like an ace three would be your hero fold, actually, because there's your top pair. Seaver just has a bluff catcher, you know? Antonio's not betting a pair of tens, or he's turning them into a bluff. I don't know. So is he, yeah. He's really trying to figure out what kind of hands would Antonio have checked the flop with? I mean, would he have checked the flop with two jacks and two tens and two kings? Would he have? Antonio loves this. He's like, oh, he how strong is king? my opponent? I'm not worried about him having a king-10. Wow, hopefully he has two pair. Antonio's definitely going to go for value. And maybe not get anything. He's just hoping he has ace-jack or something. I can't have ace-jack. Just some raggedy hand like eight-jack or whatever. Might he just kind of stick him in? Pot's 328. Scott's got 220 left. Well, that's big enough. Looks like 110 or so. Leave him with a little something to fight back in case he's wrong. He's been just trying to make the good lay down for the last three days yep, and the last three heats. And he's still got it in him, Phil. He's yep. still got the good lay down in him. He literally got saved by champion. ace. If that comes two eight queen jack, whatever, it's a different it's a different story for Seaver. No. He's not feeling very lucky. He's not. Now look at the stacks. It's Seaver and Helmut. <laughs> he's not looking very lucky. Equal and everyone else with <laughs> <Yeah>. chips. <laughs> And he's not looking very happy. He's definitely not. Bad river, probably. Let's take our cards back and you can pick any river you want. Can, can I get my money back and <laughs> pick a new river and then we fly? Yeah. Okay. I'll bet on him. Okay, how much? Oh, let me see what he bets first. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> then I'll jump in. I mean... He could have had 10 jack there. I can definitely give myself the knots, so... Ten wow. jack could definitely have it. You can't have okay, the knots. Just throw out a number. <laughs> Come on. He did throw a number. Seaver goes all in, he's got a big hand. Antonio with King Rag. This is like, just wake up with super top of your range. You got a ton of chips, you haven't covered, you put it in, wow, ace jack. But this could this could turn out well for Seaver, and I really, I kind of hope it does. Yeah. I didn't hear anything, and he turned his cards off. I think he's just dead. <laughs> Adu Amel called quietly, but he has called, and it's all in from Seaver. Ace on the flop. 
And it's oh. not looking good. He needs flush flush for a chop too. Four or points for the king. next player out, and Seaver is on the fence post. He needs a queen or a king. Queen or a king. He did it. Wow. Wow. Triple Lindy wow. belly flop. Wow. Perfect. And Ten. Scott Seaver is a magician. No, it's more. Now it's a slug match. Helmut with 200. Everyone else with 500 or so. They're all so bunched together. Yeah, Helmut hates that. It was it was huge. Helmut wanted to see the back of Seaver take six points and uh, do the shim sham. Oh. Of course, the stakes don't feel as big as they did when there were still eight players left, Phil. But it's true. they are. They I are. mean, they are for Antonio, and, Antonio and they are for yeah. Scott. That's, That's true. Um, yeah, Do humble just had air there. It was seven nine. And here's the hand. A seven. Now. Thirty five. This is a very very. Wow. How how much down to business is Helmuth? Games are over. He didn't even leave himself nine thousand. <laughs> 150 for call. 300, he has to call it. He called? Yeah. Bucket threes versus a seven. This is pretty significant. Antonio needs this to get the points to get to the finals. He needs Helmuth needs this. Out. They both need it. Helmuth needs it more because he has no chips. How does it feel to have the whole table rooting against you, Phil? <laughs> Helmuth has 10 <laughs> points, you know? He really needs He gets it. used to it. Nice. That was a good one. That was gold. Oh, oh wow. So is that clock. Phil's feeling good. How much is it? I think four or five makes it interesting, right? Yeah. Antonio's yeah, still in it, but when he sees the... 180. Yeah. You know, Helm has been here before. Antonio tried to push him into the poker gods celebrating too early yep. trick, and Phil wasn't going for it. When Antonio sees so how many times he got bluffed by tricking into a mouth, he's not going to even remember this hand. This hand's going to be nothing as mine. It's all going to... Antonio is the short stack, but they're all clumped together. No one's higher than 544, and no one's less than 414. Antonio was a strong chip leader. For Scott Seaver, all having even chips, is he happy about that? It's kind of... Float the boat up in the points bracketing. That's everything to play for. Yeah. The players continue to battle it out for the maximum 16 league points here at Asper's Casino after the break. Welcome to season six of the Party Poker Premier League from Asper's Casino in Westfield, Stratford City. Group A's third league match is underway and we are down to five players. Big points are up for grabs and those at the bottom of the league, Scott Seaver and Antonio Espandiari, have a chance to accumulate enough points to get them out of the elimination zone. Now it's time to head back to the table. More than some of them when I move. Seaver doubles through Duhamel. Helmuth doubles through Espandiari. Let's get back and start again. Bad. There. Actually, I think it's exactly 50%, right? Kind of all swimming around this little gene pool like <laughs> chromosomes, these guys, aren't they? They just, no matter, no matter where they go, they end up in the Petri dish, just just back together. So Antonio is right back at it, the work. And wow, with the super value hand, he's just calling. Where in the past, he was usually jamming that. It's, does, are the stacks just too high? What do we have, 400? They're all... <laughs> I can't do it. You put it in 35, yeah, you got to make it 100. You're doing weird try. Just call and see the flop, I guess. Sure. And everyone's Somebody's missed. got spades. Wait a minute. No, Antonio loves his hand. And no one has anything, so. I, he's obviously checking to get it all in. I mean, betting to get it all in. It might. Wow. If he bets it and he has to get it all in, he's probably losing. That's the problem, but I think he's going to go with it. This, he's winning. I need to order some he took the please. free card, and Jonathan is going. Now it's going to be check raise. This is even better than betting. He just counts on Duomo to just bet everything. I still need to wait. I'm going to order either way. Five, five hands, then, then we're on. Now, how we does Antonio try and uh, make yeah, it no, like, you know, 85? Yeah, where, where can I get some food? Uh, 
they hear this and they'll send Well, Duhamel, if he tries to do any kind of move here, it's just going to be weird because they'll be winning, <laughs> or kind of winning, with an air if you like, make an all-in bet. If he says, I'm all-in, but he won't, I don't think. If Duhamel does go all-in, Esfandiari is going to call off anyway, isn't he? I mean, Simply Antonio came in with the A's. Can I order food from you? I mean, raised with what could have been an ace. I think to almost can fold. He's already done a raise. For us? It's be super just trying to get your opponent to fold. What is this? I don't get it. <laughs> well, it's just a call or a raise. It's a call. Duhamel doesn't believe. I'll, I'll tell you this. He if, does if not Antonio believe. Antonio checks the turn, and he has no I mean, he just thinks Duhamel is an ace. He has to. He has to. That's the only thing you can think. How good's the Canadian? <laughs> Too good, perhaps. I mean, if a spade's cut, yeah. it's just <laughs> the weirdest hand. It's the weirdest hand. Because now Antonio might dollars. freeze and Duhamel might uh -huh. own it with a huge bet. And Antonio will think, I don't have enough outs to call because it's only, you know, a spade that wins. <laughs> if he makes a huge bet, Antonio will fold. Because <laughs> the math it. is not there, you know. There's 300 in the pot. Antonio is sitting with 300. It's almost the math is there, actually. That's sick. You just kind of feel like this you is the weirdest thing. He almost has to just shove hope fold. Because <laughs> if he calls, there it is. Shove hope fold. It's going to go fold. Wow. He got it through. He didn't get there. And he's like, you know what? I, I'll get there on the river. <laughs> <laughs> These guys. That's are how just you handle it. You don't need up. two cards to bet your draws. One well, is thanks. plenty. One card is plenty. If you're a champion, you'd only need that one card to get your spade, anyways. <laughs> Wow, he, there was a leveling war going on there. Duhamel just never believes in Antonio. Rational. Karma, it's still karma. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the other parts of it. Yeah, there. exactly. Wow, <laughs> Antonio's chip leader again. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, just a little, yeah, sure. Move over just a touch, will you? Yeah, yeah, sure. We're supposed to be in front of okay, no problem. boxes. Yeah, I want to slide you around a bit. And when you, when you get to watch, like we have, 122 heads, I mean, you don't, you don't say to yourself, you know, why are these guys yeah. the best in the world? Well, it's there. So it's all, it's all. You get to see it. At home, you're watching it. Plain as the nose on your Don't face. Don't try these tricks at your local club. You might lose 200 pounds in like one hour. Look how many chips Helmuth has. He's got over 400,000. I mean, he's, he has been rather incredible tonight. I mean, he was like, you know, you know that movie with, uh, <laughs> with the flatliners, they used to call it, where they bring people Sir, back from the dead. Helmuth was, he saw the light. He was lying there, chest open. I mean, <laughs> they found a yes. pulse. Yeah, she's running yep. to get one right now. Can I get a fourth, please? They both kind of have a hand. This is nuts, Thanks. you know. Thank you. Adolf Hafsu Ted brings the nuts for two Wama. He's got an overcard. Runner, runner, flush draw. It's a, has he's a he's played Helmut so well today. Every time Helmut's flopped a big hand, Duhamel is. Uh, I don't get these bottom. Put, I mean, yeah, he has to hit a spade, oh, seven, or an ace. <laughs> Look at this, this posturing thing. It's so funny. This is the helmet we know and love. Ten of spades would be dicey. He might just win it now if you go check. They all know that Helmuth likes to call. So they like to shut down properly against him. And now Helmuth will maybe just get a value hand to the river. Another one of these? Yeah. Check. Thank you. Two Hummel picks up the flush drop. And blanks out. I think uh, you can't bluff it. I, I think a bet will be called by Helmuth here. One more, please. It just feels like it. Because he'd be repping tens or nines or queens or something. So I just think. Queen or jet ten. A seven's the best hand. Give me the money. How far <laughs> away is Phil yeah, Helmuth finally. from the chip lead? <laughs> <laughs> <Phil? laughs> wow. How He's just far getting away closer is and closer. 550. He's 2,000 ahead yeah, in the chip lead. He yeah. might not sure. be far at all. I, oh, he's second position. The river I can call, but uh, the turn is a little more difficult. It gets stronger. After this hand, Phil Helmuth will be the chip leader because Antonio is about to put a small blind in for 8,000, and he's only ahead. 
by 6,000, so. He gets longer. Please, thank you so much. And if you can add avocado. Neither of these guys needs cards to play with, do they? They just, uh. Thank you very much. They just settle for their wit, their heart. You're not gonna eat that salad? It's, uh, and a couple of us. have a bite of his. Did you just order another one? I did order one. Oh, before you did. I already ordered, no, I ordered okay. for me, uh, right? Yeah, no, okay. thank you, I'm fine. If we were in L.A. as assistant, yeah. we'd be bringing them organic, like salmon or something. The most likely scenario is you re-raise and then I just... I mean, obviously, if he likes chicken, the yeah. healthiest thing he could do is bite the head off a live chicken. There you go. Ozzy Osbourne, how, dude. Uh, yep. So Seaver opens with jacket and spades. <laughs> Sfendiari. Oh, Du Hommel. Sees with... Du Hommel is just like, you know what, I'm all in. Because guess what? I think I'm the... Yeah, this is a value. The fold juice is just so through the roof. Antonio feels that he's got a good hand. How much more? 200? It's actually... Um, I mean, it's it's, it's half Antonio's stack. If you could see what he call. has, it's a snap 230. call. Yeah. If you see what the A7, it's just a snap call. He's got so much juice. It's talking about 248 to collect 370. It's right. 25 for 40 about. That's you on the top spot? Yeah, that's me. That's you on the top I have a lot of points, so you don't give a shit. So I really have He's just trying to work out the points what the points the mean. Player, all the points. I do not like really lucky, too. Careful. I mean, I feel like I got to gamble, right? Yup, yeah, he's getting it right. He does have to kind of gamble. He needs a ton of points. He has to win this. Sam has 5.50. What is it, 2.20? 2.30. The, the only problem with Antonio gambling, I think, Phil, and not that it's wrong, I, he would rather gamble against Trickett or Helmet that he has 230 than left. Duhamel. Yeah, it's true. You, you know what I'm saying? It's not that he wants to gamble. As live as can be. It's not that he doesn't want to gamble, it's who does he want to gamble with. It's 25 for 40. It's just like he's got to get all the chips. He has chips left over. He doesn't call. He, he has to win, right? I right. think he's got to put it in. That's that for John. King Jack suit. Well, King 10 suit. Yeah. And not be 100% sure either way. Look, but uh, the You're poker right gods have now come into play. Esfandiari right. right. is going to be a survivor, but he'll be quite short stacked if he can't crack the A7 with the King 10. And the 1 7 that's dead from Helmus 9 7 is kind of immaterial because, you know, the 7 doesn't matter. It's just Antonio has to catch up and pass him. That's not a catch up in the hard to make anything, huh? Did you put the extra 10 on? Do I have the extra 10 on? <laughs> wow, Helmuth would have had a full house nine versus full system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to hit a king or ten on the river. He didn't do it. Oh. <laughs> he didn't feel it. He didn't get it, but he ain't out of it. Nine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Which I love. Yeah. Oh, it's tough. I don't think he regrets making this call. Nope. You got to go for it. It's the right play. <sighs> S. Fandiari on the nominal short stack right now, but still. Fighting to get in the top two and give so himself bad. as many possibilities as possible going into that final heat. And for Phil Helmet, the if he could squeeze out a win here, wow. he is going to go from being the laughing stock of this group. Or any to time. The, yeah. Not the laughing this. stock. Yeah. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> well, but. You've learned two valuable lessons in Premier League now. Cool, right? Look at other people's stacks and look at your own cards. And look show. at your own cards. <laughs> Limpy shoves have got fold. <laughs> <laughs> Such an idiot. Six, six folds. 3x and off oh. 25, and here are the wow. bananas. Well, this is a must all in with uh, 307, 100 out yeah. there, but. 
seven years old. It's the smallest it's stock gone. that's gone in. It's got to be a call. Helmet's going to be a little bit it's, aggrieved. Uh, usually you don't get to snap and <laughs> have the worst hand. God, I think he's slipping. No BB, Mom. No BB. Your son is all in against the great she, legendary she Phil Hart. Mom, she where are you going? She Mom. ran away. Mom. <laughs> no, no BB, no, no queen. No, no BB. Genius, don't no say queen. no queen. Don't say look, king. Mom, you got to be here. So oh, no. You don't say the No queen. You don't say the cards well, like, that you don't want. What a waterfall fight. Yeah, exactly. Don't do it. It might happen. Okay, no it didn't more. happen. No queen. There's two more cards to come. No queen. And we Jack punish the no homie. Jack is fun. Well, no, I mean, no Jack. Let's just I mean, do like deuce three. You know? I mean, deuce three. There's mom. That is mom. Antonio Esfandiari's. Got to dodge a queen. Uh, that's a good card, mom. One, okay. one card to one come. More, mom. No queen. One more card. Can we get a camera on my mom's right there, Antonio? What? All right. Seven. I think it's three. Oh. They hold. Jesus. I mean, wow. Is so lucky against me. I'm so lucky. <laughs> I've been running so crappy. Go on, my game. son. 200. Yeah, you busted yourself in the second one. Can't blame anybody. For that. <laughs> the needles. <laughs> the wind needles. How about the first one? I bust myself there, too. 310. No, you played that one good. Huge, huge result for Esfan Diari. The double up. Bringing him wow. up to the chip lead. Trick, it's like, what if I just steamed like I'm supposed to with Queen 10? <laughs> I would have won. Not the way to think about it. Waterfall effect. There's Marvin Rettenmeyer on the rail. He wants to see how this goes because it's all going to mean what he has to do. He's in the box with 14 points and not feeling great about it. I do not. I do not. I think Jonathan was third. No, because I think Phil just had like 6-4 suited and was just no, talking garbage. What's it? No. Can Antonio get yeah, lucky yeah. and get some action? Every yeah. time he gets <laughs> junk, he's in there and somebody raises him. Now he has legit ace-king. He's hoping Duhamel, who has him uh, evenly chipped. Even chips here. 600 and 600 and little bit. To st oh, wow. Ace-jack of spades. Pretty hard we're definitely seeing away. a raise. I mean, right? He, this is too big to flat, and it's too big to. You can never fold. You have to raise. This right. is just too big. It's five-handed. Yeah, here it comes. Antonio is like, we've seen stars light up. If he can dodge a jack, wow. Could finish with a million in chips. Wow. He's definitely raised to induce. Ace yeah, jack of spades, way strong enough in Duan Mel's oh, mind, I, I believe, to Whoa. take it on. Jonathan, wow, Antonio had, wow. Two hundred. So give you lots of points. I don't care. I'm fine. Call. It's all in. Yeah, it went all in. Of course it did. And for Antonio Esfandiari, he barely covers. He keeps saying the numbers he doesn't want. He should be saying, bring me some kings. You don't say the card you don't want. That what just jiggles the fabric of the time yeah, web. Look how big this pot oh, no, is. It's ginormous. No Saturday bus. How much should we get? No Jack, six, Mom. Three, two, three, four, King. Four. I always like to know who's all in, don't you? Slow. John's nice and slow. John's on. That's a close to the Jack. Oh, That's even no, no, close no. to a Jack. Oh my lord. That's okay, a good. No eight, no jack bomb. The full complement of outs. Whew, that's a good spot. Like Premier a three League three. hangs on a thread. Don't do it, kid. Don't do it. That's my line, the don't do it. That's wow. a hard. Good card. Wow, that just means that a good card. That's a good card. Some of the straight cards are hearts and they're no good. One of them, whatever. 13% he needs. Baited breath. Offsuit. Oh, he didn't do it. Bang. Wow. Thank you, sir. That is sick. It's pretty sure Antonio has him. Wow, he probably feels vindicated from all the crud he had to slug through to get to this moment, you know? Thank you. Oh, that must feel so guttingly painful for He's Duhamel. covered. He's out. He's taken four points. Wow. No matter what happens during the rest of this heat, he will be the league table leader going into the fourth heat. Now, boys, we got... Oh, it's still Phil Helmuth keep chopping it. Look at Phil Helmuth doesn't have any points. He hasn't had any chips. He hasn't had anything. But he has six points guaranteed and maybe eight. Crawling through with tight play. Well, not always tight in everyone's case, but crawling through nonetheless. Well, Daniel Legrand is on say. 16 points, and Helmuth is guaranteed to have at least 16. Yeah. Now, if he was to go out in fourth.
Empire raises to 40,000. Jungleman is actually likely to end up in fourth place. Right. I think uh, there's more permutations, I think, that put him there than not. From here on out. Can I steal it? Is what Trickett asks himself every hand of every day of his life. And here it is being asked again. This is not can I call. This is will he fold if I go all in. He's representing a stronger hand by raising the torture small. Torture small. Yeah, and it, you know, just the fact that Trick had chose to do it there, I, I just wonder, did he get some sort of No, life? that no? was just like, look, guys, I'm, it's my turn. <laughs> I'm just, Time for a I little bit of this. I don't think he even looked up at Seaver. That was just, you know, you get the vibe that a guy's ready to play a hand, and he plays it, you got to take it to the next level and say, well, I had the vibe he was going to play it, now i got to punish him for my vibe. It can be like that simple as simple as that. I'll do it now. It's one, two again. You raise so you can get away. I'll yeah. do it if everybody right. does it. <laughs> around the strap. Yeah, I'm around. Yeah, I think I would too. Yeah, it's it's the the like yeah, the bottom card rolls off him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just just slip through a 6 <laughs> 5 off suit 3 bet. 6 5 right. Sam with 7 9 folds. Antonio with a yeah, the ace 8 of diamonds. He's in there, you know. 6 7 folds. Cool, cool. Really he's actually cards. got enough chips really that now he's going to call a lot of re-raises in the whole it's probably thing. my fault. We seem to be kind of careful. Here comes Phil. But Phil he's called with 5-9 five five and hit a 5. Two if two you're going to call with 5-9, by the way, you're checking okay. the call in this spot or raise or something. But it's tough because when your opponent has a pair of 7s, you don't have much in the way of winning. Good like check on the turn, nice. sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of draw hands you're going to raise with. It was a very good check on the turn. Wow. I did not want to tangle with Ace High. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, right, I'm all in. Not wanna... Wow, Phil. Play, so. Good play. Wow, wow Phil. Hell, Muth. That cool. Wow, that would be special. How about up? It's still, these three guys have the same chips in my mind. 460. Sorry, 460, 300, and 350. It's almost the same. And are they all playing for second? They're all playing for second. But if one of those guys can absorb another one of the other guys, the three on the left, it could be uh, a much longer match. Trickett loves this hand. He's going to get it going. Pair of fours. I don't know. Oh my lord! I, 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 I'm not really sure. Trick. And, he's, yes. he's about to find out. Calls. Wait, did he have 400 big? He had 20 big blinds. It might be too big. No, Was it 20 big sure. blinds? I mean, he's gotten pretty unlucky here. Yeah. Two to one underdog to have aces. Oh no, it's not. God. I think this trickett is gonna is gonna is gonna look back and think he should have just raised to sixty or eighty. Because it would have gone two hundred and yeah, he could have gotten away from it. Or that's maybe this is why. He, I don't know. It's crazy. If he raises, he's gonna have to make a hero fold and do it. Yeah. You know what I'm is, if he raises limit. Well, I mean, if I think with ace queen, I'm calling. Even after I call? I mean, maybe right. not. I it's the points you probably thing. Have to, yeah. I think I have to, probably. Okay, over yet, yeah, but if Trickett walks out of here with six profits. points, I had ace which is what it looks about to happen, he's still going to be in oh reasonable God. shape with 19 no, total not. points. Jack makes him a bigger but uh, oh, <laughs> Phil Helmuth <laughs> is going to have an oh excellent <laughs> chance to finish above him. Good game, guys. Oh. Fuck, Sam Trickett, he doesn't think one. much about the Premier League strategy. Button, what yes. he does wow. think about is playing the best yeah. poker he knows how, and it's, it's done him pretty right. well so far, yeah, Phil. Fill out. Now he can fill out, Antonio yeah, says, fill out. one at a time. Gentlemen, how Good much luck you got? That. How much you got? I'm gonna take <laughs> so that is six points for Sam, which is 19 total, and uh, it puts you in a pretty good position going forward. How are you feeling about your place in the league table? Uh, yeah, I think if I'd have played a little bit better and a bit, little bit more suited to the format, I probably would have got a few more points yesterday. Like, I definitely didn't play it correct full-handed when I was second in chips. I probably should have kind of ladder and wait for someone of those to go out. But 
I don't know, it's, I just find it really hard, like really hard to play tight. <laughs> it's just not fun, so, and I can't resist. So I regret not playing a little bit tight air four-handed, but you know, I'm, I'm in second now playing the way I've been playing, so I've still got a good chance. Three players battling it out for that 16 points. Join us after the break. Welcome back to Group A's third league match. We've seen some incredible plays tonight as the very best in the business compete for points in this season's Premier League. This is poker at its very best and as expected, we're being treated to some exciting action here in London. Antonio's got a little bit more chips than Phil, so he knows that if it's an attrition war, he can just pop into 11 points. Scott gets to go from 11 plus four is 15. And if Helmuth wins, it's 10. Yeah, he wants Helmuth. I think he wants Helmuth to get through. Because I think he would rather play Helmuth than Scott Seaver deep stack later on. Oh, that's exactly All right. okay. what the doctor I mean, ordered Helmuth for Phil I mean, the stack is so Helmuth small, Jr. I don't even... It's like a no-brainer call. I don't even know what it is. It's going to be something small. It's going to be getting great price. <laughs> <laughs> the patented shove him in fast and crack the. Antonio knows he's beat maybe, but it's still probably going to be a call. You know what I'm saying? How can you, how can you fold this? And he doesn't. I think it's going to come deuce three king queen jack. Oh, he called already. Ace mummy. Just one ace, mummy. Just one. One ace. One ace. One ace is very good for the family. This is going to put oh, the peacock so among oh, the sorry, pigeons. Hard or an ace, mummy. Hard or an ace, mummy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, what's that? Come on, one what's that? Slow, dealer. Slow, Adrian. <laughs> Give it some finesse. Some finesse. Just Adrian. Squeeze a heart. A little out. like finesse, all right? Oh, just Yo, little, Adrian. Like, put it, uh, and then just. Yeah, as soon as you deliver it, hand. look over at him, okay? Just see the. Just watch the face. Watch the face. Just watch the pain, the redness, okay? Come on. Finesse. There's nothing I can do. I got my money. Come on. Marvin, you like the Marvin dudes. Marvin, Rupert Hart. I want to see Helmuth get further. Oh, wow. What if Helmuth can just hold up? got a shot. Come on, baby. Helmuth is a favorite now. 76%. Far more painful. On the river, Adrian. One time in your life. One time in your life, Adrian. Come on, baby. Come on. Jesus. Wow. That was wow. a statement. That was a statement wow. of intent. Phil <laughs> Helmuth's that strategy is working out. He's dodging bullets just like he, he says does. he can do in the magazines. <laughs> he did dodge bullets. How does he miss that? How often do you make this? How do you? How do I miss that? How do you have queens plus every hand dealt three hands in? Of cone cold nuts. Queens plus. I don't say you told me that. That would have been for you. Good for you guys too. Yeah, obviously they're all sweating. Uh, they yep. want you and me to come one-two so bad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's used to it, Helmuth. Yeah, when you're that, when you have 13 he's bracelets, he's the world's going to come yeah, he's faster. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No problem, silly boy. Thank you, thank you, Antonio. And, of Look, course, it means a lot like more than just uh, <laughs> Helmuth oh, over Seaver, flop, right? second mm -hmm. position. I mean, the stack that Helmuth has now, if he was to take out Scott Seaver, now is it's, yeah. fairly competitive to yes. try and have a shot against Antonio. How does it feel? When you were a little kid, did you think you'd be a living legend? Definitely, yes. You did, right? <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> well, it wasn't I had weird stuff. I had weird stuff happening on national television. I had weird stuff happening when I was a kid. Weird 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 international television. Let's really let's really milk this stuff. This is great for a career. This is. We should really. You're the slowly. legend. What it's about Doyle? Those are legends. What expected. about Johnny Chan? You're okay. Phil, Phil Ivy. I'm Eric all Seidel. I'm going to have to try win. and channel my helmet at this hand and just pile Scott, it. Scott, this is really good for our careers. You know that, right? I know. I mean, that's why I'm all in against really you guys. It really kind of takes us from here to here. Oh, it's an ace. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I, think uh -oh. I, I don't even think I can fold. I don't okay, care what then it don't is. Look, don't look then. Let me take a look. I mean, you know. I call. He calls, cool. he's in trouble. Seaver loves oh, it. Baby. Good for her. This Good. is going to roll Good. reversal. Good. If, we, we can if the ace 10 can hold, it's, it's worse for Helmut because the five is dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 50-50 hand. Antonio folded a jack five. Lunkin. It's a one five out there. God, you know, I looked at it. I thought it might be a jack again the way I looked at it. Oh, I don't want Helmut to go. Well, we get a king for a chop. So many two-siders. King for a hey, <laughs> King is great. They are all sweating this. Oh, this is a great game. To the max. Great 
Well, a jack or a queen would split it as well, ten. but that oh. won't. So that's a double. 50, you know, Helm was still in it though. 250, 273. Nice hand. Okay. Like there was a ton of split cards there, wasn't there? Yeah. A four, an ace. No, four doesn't do it, does it? Nice hand, sir. Thank you, thank you. Has to be two. How much do you have? I don't know, maybe yeah. I'm tired. I gotta see the screen again. I think there was a, a lot of split cards there. Poker. Honestly, even in its like silliest versions, it's oh, still right. the yeah, most fun, beautiful thing there uh, is. It is so beautiful. Poker's the best. It really is. Just yeah. the five cards that yep. make the poker yeah. hand. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing I could do, Scott. No, of course not. Uh, about 300. 315. Nothing I could do. 24. I'm just, I'm glad it wasn't ace. Well, I wish it would have been ace check, even though the 10 hit on the river. Yeah. <laughs> it would have still been nice to have the best of it. Yeah, just to know? feel better about it. So yeah. Seven fold. Four King eight, Helmuth, small blind, completed. Is that what he did? Five Seaver, who did threaten that any time Helmuth limped, he would jam, has uh, shown that uh, he still reserves the right to change his mind. Yep. And why not? Forty-eight thousand. Four bets. Forty-eight thousand. I sort of like this kind of bet. It's well, it's theme it's thematic with what he could have, and it's I think less likely that Scott might have an ace or also Irish position. Just bet, but look at this. Scott will have none of it. Scott's like, you don't have any of that. You would have raised if you had an ace. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna flat you and t take it away like Daniel McGraw. Turn, turn of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. Watching people flip. Check or bet, Phil. I, I think it's check give up. <laughs> but what do I know about poker? He's got the best hand. No, he doesn't. Seaver has a pair of fives. That's why he called now. He's like, wow. I wanted a five or a seven. If I check, he'll probably go on and make me fold. If I bet 80, he might fold. He's going to bet 80. I think 80 is the bet. Or 80, 82. 32. What? 35? Interesting like bet. And uh, weird. This is weird. Check. If Seaver checks, he wins. If he bets, he probably wins as well. I don't think Seaver's ever losing. There's not enough chips for him to get, have a successful check raise bluff, so Seaver wins. It, well, is there any There's chance no. that Seaver thinks he might have to turn his hand into a bluff? Oh, sure, yeah. But it's, it's you know, I mean, Helmuth can't call, and so yeah. King. Five chips. No bad. takes it down and wounds Helmuth more. <laughs> At least you didn't move in with 5-7 and suck out. And I would have snap called. I told you I was going to limp. <laughs> it kind of sucks to lose I don't that. think you were bullying the king eight there. No, I was snap calling. Yeah, I believe you. I limped in to let him bluff it off. We have nine big big blinds. you got to do something soon, Phil. It could happen. More wisdom. He's got more little he wiggles. He likes to do the little calls with, like, to, he's when he has <coughs> 10 big blinds, he doesn't mind putting one out there and just... Seaver might just... No. <laughs> look at Antonio. Yeah, look at Antonio just he's, trying to absorb the pattern. Ex that's exactly... He's looking at Helmut, and he's like with that look like, I've been watching you for 20 years, and I still have no idea what the hell you're doing. <laughs> And not in a bad way or a good way, just sort of an open-mouthed way. <laughs> 
and turn it on. And the jack no longer plays, which is probably going to send Helmuth into a Helmuthian rant. <laughs> Chop it up. Jesus, the chop the trap worked, except he sucked out. <laughs> and I was betting the river. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one's on short. He's very the good, Phil. worked. I got him dead. I thought you didn't know what the trap was. That was a fairly significant oh, pot. So beautiful. So beautiful. Um, where were, when were you trapping? I'm just wondering. Before, oh. <laughs> Before the flop. Before the flop. Yeah, but I'm not a call. I, I can't move Before in. the flop? With the better hand. Inst rather, so I limp can... in to let him move in. I mean, I, I, I read all, uh, all, these, all the young kids. They just, they, they, they misunderstand poker, in my opinion. That's why I keep getting there. So you're, lump don't. you're lumping me in with the young kids now? No. That's one of the worst insults you've ever given me. No, but you deserve to lose that talk. <laughs> <laughs> you, just beat my, you just beat the other one. I don't like. I don't want to just use the word impure, but there has to be like in, for the way you use the word pure, there has to be an opposite, right. and that is Phil Helmuth's table talk. It's the opposite of who he is. Anti-pure. See, I guys, know that you guys, guys can't. Phil I Helmuth know. is a great human being. I know him away from the tables. <clears throat> He's a great guy. This is anti-pure talk. I second that. He is a good man. He is a great man. He's just, you know, He's a trying bit, to smile, but he doesn't want it. a little baby at the table. <laughs> yeah, see, there it is. <laughs> a little baby at the table sometimes. <laughs> five calls. I have Super a girl. Like flat calls with Jack Six. He said, like a little history of doing it with bigger hands. He showed it. I think he's trying to develop a hand where he can Man, I hope, I hope, be ahead and get some chips. I think this is a check call for Seaver or check check. You know, I don't want to. But Antonio has been showing incredible restraint. He's just waiting for them to check call, I think. And I don't think Antonio's going to even fire at it. He's going to check call again. Well, I'd I think it's check or bet maybe for that. But Anton is just not going to be involved here. He's happy, it looks like, just to go detente. But, uh, he might also decide it's time to preach to the preacher. It could be like, he's thinking, can I get a bluff throw? Wait, he can, can he? Yep. I mean, the all-in would be a scary maneuver. There is 84. That's not that much out there. No. Jack. Why was he I calling for the nine high? Oh, he's calling for the nine high. high. He so thought you know, maybe the nine high was good. He should yeah. be raising you every time. You'd have another two green <clears> stacks <throat> over there. Instead, he's going to give you a chance to win. But well, you have to understand. It's so bad, he doesn't understand the format. Uh, and you're, ta does. you're in his ear <coughs> telling him the opposite. He doesn't That's even true. understand the format, bro. So now you're He's supposed to abuse this you. This is back-to-back -back heats he's called you stupid. I don't know if I everyone's watched the second Anytime he wants heat. to play heads up for yeah. 100,000, and the winner shoots the loser with a taser gun, it's, wow, it's you on added the table. Taser stipulation? It's been on for seven years. He's never accepted it. Seven years. But, 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 but that's a, an old line, too. It's an old it's line. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's on the line. table. Anytime Phil Helmuth wants to play for 100,000, I would be abusing up, you, Scott. I wouldn't let yeah. you see a single flop. And the winner shoots the loser yeah, with a taser gun. It's available. Anytime he wants. That's the point. It's on the table for the day I die. We are down to three players in Group A's third league match. Phil Helmuth, Scott Seaver, and Antonio Esfandiari continue to compete for points here in London in just a moment. Yeah, I'd get a unanimous. Lines are going up now, 15, 30,000 with a 5,000 Annie. Yeah. Can we actually bet? Like, before we continue the hand, can we actually bet this? I'll bet. So all how, we have to do. How much are you gonna bet? We're gonna ask. Let, let's ask. Well, not the poker players, because poker players don't know what's going on. Let's ask. Like it's a, just a normal math. Problem. I'll ask. Let's ask. Let's ask to somebody like who's really smart with the points. Like yeah, that's Cantu. insane. I can't. The guy you that you yeah, spoke you're, with you're, for an hour last night before you started playing today. Well, let's ask him. You want the mediator to be your like. Why don't you take Phil Galfon? I think would be the yeah, best. Yeah, exactly. Phil Galfon. All right. How much? So you're telling me that Antonio's supposed to just be folding to you right that's now? That's not what I said. So what are you saying? When Phil Galfon sees Let's my cards, he, he, he yeah. will understand the best. It's not about whole exactly. cards. He'll understand of the best. Of course it is. It's not about whole cards. Of course. OK. Do you want to bet? We'll, yeah, yeah, I'll we'll, bet you. How much can we get that Galfon will watch Phil Galfon watches the last 30 minutes, and he understands yeah. the bet. How much do you guys want to bet? Go ahead. Exactly. 
Okay, so I can bet whatever I want. The, the, I don't the Gale fund, I don't have infinite money, but that he, the Gale fund is the Gale fund's going to say that, that he's Gale not supposed not to abuse you. thinking that I'm lying. That he's not supposed that, to abuse he's not, you. No, that he's not thinking I'm lying. It's not whether you're lying or not. It's a fact of whether or not he's supposed to be abusing you, which everybody knows is the case. So what do you want to bet? Maybe he's had like seven. It doesn't off matter what now. he has. He's supposed to abuse you. You can't finish third. And not only that, you're talking about how you're his best buddy, and you should. So you might not be intentionally lying, which makes you not very cognizant of the points either. You're either a con man or you're missing you're the point. You're that high level that you don't even know what you're doing. You turned it into a lovely moment. Too. Peacemaker, the whole thing away. You just, you just, I yeah, just said course. I'll bet him. I'm well, betting you, that he's supposed to be abusing You just keep saying the wrong Listen. words. That's all I'm betting. Is he supposed to be abusing That's you? I think the fair way is to just bet. let Phil Gaffer watch the last 30 minutes. What does he think of the play? What does he think of the play? You can't forget the whole card. Do seven, I'm supposed to abuse him, but do seven? You guys are world champion level players. You're world champion, you're not supposed to look at whole cards, he's saying. You're not supposed to win okay. every big line If you're line saying ignore the whole cards, just... No. <laughs> Clearly not. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I kind of think they're both right. They're you both know, right. Obviously, That's the thing. Antonio would rather Phil finish of third, course. but he should keep Scott very, it, very low. Keep him yes, on life support as well. I think so. And, and uh, he has been, he has, you know, Scott's going to become dangerous if he finishes. <laughs> I'm so tilted right now. All right, let's go. Okay. Good. I can't wait to <laughs> see. I was, scared he tricked, I was scared he tricked you into it. Tricked him into it. I bet 10,000 he's supposed to be abusing it. We can go pull 10 players. I don't just any of the 10 players. Oh, my God. It doesn't wow. matter. We'll bet any oh we can just pick 10 wow. random. Wow. So you don't I'll want take that he's playing well. <laughs> playing well? This yeah. is amazing. This the is this the poker player. gods? Wow. So you don't want to bet he's this supposed is... to be abusing you. So in other words, you believe I'm right. So why are we wasting our time with this How discussion? Much is not gonna... Are you still trying to con him? Wow, think of the dynamics here. Wow. And Scott's wondering if he if Helmut Scott's got just through. Looking at his monster hand. But he just calls. He so wants Antonio to keep firing for all the misses. Right, that he and has. Antonio's this not going to break stuff, Scott here. He's, he's just going to bet enough things. to wound him. Seriously. He'll keep him alive. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be really genius. He'll keep him alive, but just. <laughs> I think betting like about a hundred does the trick, and then he bet like. 150 on the river or something, you know, just get him right down there. Well, Helmut's not going to say anything because he's delighted about what's yeah, going he on. he loves this. This is like, what Helmut doesn't know is that Seaver thinks he's slow playing Antonio. But now he's also concerned. I could, I, he could have 6-8. He could have, you know. Wow, Seaver's actually in a really tough spot. Super tough. I think... I, mean, I think he's just going to call, and I think he's calling the river, too. Did Helmuth actually win the psychological battle he here? Yeah, and I think that uh, I think that Seaver's never going to put in a raise. Well, he can't, because he can't go broke. But right. and, and Antonio cannot break him either. But he just wants to wound him seriously. Yes. Bet 200. Yeah, count it, it down, looks Antonio. Like bet like 250, maybe, or something. Incredible. In case he has a big hand. This is so sick. Incredible. He's got to bet something. Yep. Seaver's got about 500k back. If Antonio bets 200 now, he can throw his hands up in the air and do a victory parade. I think Seaver Antonio's got the red, yeah. 155, 165. This is great. This is. He keeps. Wow. Right. That's what he wants. Okay. He wants to make sure he can stay ahead of Phil Helmuth. Right. Stay ahead of Phil Helmuth, but get he did it. <laughs> And 50's 177. How much is that? 137. And look at that. He's wow, ahead. Antonio's priced this right. He knows exactly what the dynamics are. He knows he's ahead. He knows he's going to get paid. And he knows he's left with Seaver with more than Antonio. Wow. Glad I didn't listen to Phil Helmuth. Silence on the wow. table. And now Scott Seaver is back in the thick of it. He needs wow. to outlast Phil Helmuth. If I raise preflop, you know, and abuse him. <laughs> you know, Tony's saying if I raise preflop and abuse him. I'm not saying them. you're supposed to raise every one. I'm saying you're supposed to be abusing him. Is that a bad call, you think? Yeah. I think I have to. I would do that with a queen for sure. Thank you. You can have queen jack so. there pretty easily. I think you got a call. Scott. Yeah. Scott just got cold. Yeah, that was super cold. Flop back. Back. Flop yeah, I can wait till the endless level. That is how it started. So they're all both singing this, the cool. truth. Kind of. Doesn't want to fatten him up, but that's good enough. 
We're gonna get a helmet wow. snapper. So eight ten folded, and then it was just wham. I'm all in helmet. Jack high. I mean, I cannot afford to ante up any lower than this. I guess six seven suit is gonna have to be good enough. Yeah. Wow, you think so too? Oh uh, well, no. Let me see. He's, it's costing him. I thought it was just gonna roll he's a just, little he's, more. He's looking <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Well, I don't like getting my money in with 6 7. Yeah, of course not. How can you tweet? Finally busted. Got it in terribly. What could I do? It's, it's bad for the image. Three Four moves on the chessboard, and Helma says, This is my chance. Play. And if he wins this yeah, pot. He's got a good hand, you know? It plays well against player. a range of a ton of hands. Oh, oh wow. How about that one? Wow. Helma is actually looking like a favorite. Oh he's not, but he's looking like a favorite. What a flop. This is fun, actually. Looking like a favorite? He is a favorite. I know. Oh, Nine there he is. I thought he was. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, not wow. now he's not. Tony can dodge bullets too. That one I didn't like as much. No. Where's the white magic? I would have given you a nine. I really would have. Finesse. Where's it Seaver's day? And oh, that's wow. for Scott Seaver, I Phil Helmuth. What a performance today, Phil Locke. Wow. So sick. That's exactly what we needed. <laughs> yeah, the exact wow. thing. Like the two what a performance oh, for Helmuth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's not out of this Premier oh, League. Shit. He's got eight points on top Honestly, of the ten. Thought, Eighteen really is going to put him in the thick of it. Scott Seaver. He had to come yeah, first or second, yeah, and he yeah. will. And for Antonio S. Vandiari, the same. They were the My cellar mom, dwellers, yeah, Phil Locke. Mom, but okay? now they're playing for five points of glory. And uh, when you look at the stats head to head, S. Vandiari, of course, glided in the final stages there. He's five to one nearly in chips. But uh, there's only a point that separates them right now. Scott with four, Antonio with three. The likelihood, of course, is that is if Esfandiari well, could like, finish yeah, this totally off, he'll have 19 <laughs> points. You know, I might just call with like queen 10. <laughs> I was going to say ace 10. You might just call with ace 10. Oh, I might call with ace 10? <laughs> yeah, you just might. This is, I mean, I would jam oh, with queen jack, and I think oh, this is above his range with the ace 5. I think he's going to. Oh, it has to it's be, doesn't it? Oh, it's actually call. 15 big blinds. Yeah, it's tough, but I think call. you got to call. call. Excuse me, 13. Get up there? And he does call, and he is ahead. That's the final mummy. And we've no got action. Buzz. That's a lot of nose you're saying. <laughs> Ace, mom. Ace. King you're going to have a heart attack. Mom, it's okay. You can oh, look no, up. I, first time I'm reading against mom. <laughs> Ace. Two. Oh, that's good, wow. too. No queen, no jack. Two more cards to come. Come on, baby. <laughs> And then we can party. Oh, <laughs> look That's close. Good. No queen, no jack, David, mom. Burn and then pass me the river. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's going to be card, no queen, no Burn and pass him the river. He's going to squeeze. <laughs> He's going to squeeze for the last card. Pass me the river. Can I pass him the river? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Yo, standard. Yo, Adrian. Oh, God, he's... He winked like he was going to. <laughs> Good job. He said, no, you can't. You know what? These guys have been heroes Boy, of the cloth today. <laughs> and look at Scott Seaver. He knows he did good work. The second has given him a heck of a chance. He all the time talks to me and give me energy. My mom is beautiful, right? No. Yeah, sure. I know all you people at home are thinking, oh my God, this can't be his mother, it's his girlfriend or his mistress or something like that. This is actually my mother. I, I came from her and I popped out. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you more. Second place finish for Scott Seaver, and uh, you needed a top two finish, definitely. How are you feeling about the last heat? I'm feeling pretty good. Got what I needed. Obviously, it would have been better to win, but I can't complain. Cards broke my way, positions broke my way, and hoping to just keep up this good run. So, are you feeling quite strong in your game as well? Uh, honestly, I always feel strong in my game. Sometimes the cards work for me, sometimes they don't. And I'm hoping to just bring this through into the final heat. Okay, well, good luck in the final heat. There's definitely uh, still fight in this, so well, good luck. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a look at the standings as it stands. Wow. Duamel, of course, skipping away. But Esfandiari has gone from cellar dweller to promotion zone. It really is sick. And Daniel Negreanu, who is in third place, has dropped into the relegation zone. So win for Antonio. You needed this win. Let's talk about why it happened in this heat. Well, I came in today not really caring about the result. Or, well, actually, I didn't care about any other place besides first or second. And so when you have that mentality going in, you're much more likely to gamble with certain hands where you might think, oh, maybe this is just a clear fold. But given that I had to come in first or second, I just really didn't care. So I had to win. 
and it feels great to win. Congratulations on that. 19 points going into the last heat, and good luck. Thank you very much, Kara. Next time, Group B are back in action for their third league match, and it's a crucial stage for those in the elimination zone. Tony G, Igor Kurganov, and Jason Mercier are under pressure to win big points here in this season's Premier League. I am going to get you, Tala. I'm going to knock what? you out of this tournament. I'm so regretting doubling up. I've got to get loud and obnoxious like I used to be. No respect for the G. Oh, that's an awesome card. That's an awesome way to die. I'm hormonal, so look out.